Kaufman Maddox, and I am the founder of a, a very new startup called Architect. So for many professional women, as well as their employers, the transition from pregnancy to motherhood can often lead to a number of unspoken challenges. These women have a general idea of what pregnancy and motherhood will be like, but not yet the lived experience of being pregnant or, post or postpartum while working to advance their careers and also dealing with the physical and mental rigors of creating new life, often leading to missed opportunities or unrealized professional advances, a negative for both these women and their employers that can have far-reaching consequences. We, and as you can see, I, I literally mean we, <laughs> lose upwards of 20 to 30% of lifetime income and 63% of immediate income, inclusive of associated non-financial benefits, something often called the motherhood penalty. Not because we're less than when we're pregnant and not because we're less than when we're new mothers. But it happens anyway. And employees and employers typically consider uh, and plan for family and work life as if in different realms when they're really two sides of the same coin. The loves and pride of our lives, core aspects of our identities, equally worthy of focused support and sustenance. For employers, our loss is very much theirs too. For each highly skilled employee that leaves because she's experienced being unable to reconcile the sometimes seemingly insurmountable scheduling demands of family and career advancement, employers shell out upwards of 213% of that employee's annual salary to again recruit, rehire, and retrain, not to speak of the brain and wisdom drain associated with losing remarkable talent. For women who remain in the workplace but lack the support needed to kick as much ass as they truly can, employers still suffer the economic and organizational losses. But this problem needn't be. And my company, Architect, is working on developing a comprehensive yet streamlined digital planning tool that helps women, like me, bridge the divide proactively, simultaneously, and integratively plan for their pregnancies, new motherhood, and careers to come as close as reasonably, reasonably possible to having it all in preservation of both of the loves of our lives, our families, and our careers. So at this point, to make this work, I need to speak to some of you um, to continue our, what I'm calling, stakeholder discovery. So, if you are currently pregnant, or were pregnant within the past year, or have a preschool-aged child, and left the workforce, or greatly reduced hours after having your child, or if you're currently or previously uh, were a human resource human resources professional, or lastly, if you are a current or previous CEO, let's link up to talk. I appreciate you all listening, and thanks so much.